What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the show. Uh, today I want to do something different. Uh, I'm going to still talk about technology, but specifically AMD. Um, but it's going to be more on a financial side of things. So a story recently, or actually today, caught my eyes. Uh, it made me wonder what this analyst was thinking. So a Citibank analyst, Christopher Danley, uh, gave a sell rating for AMD. He predicts that AMD stock will drop down to $5 a share, basically wiping out 112% of gains in the past year. Now, this analyst or analysis seems very dubious. By the way, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do videos on CPU, GPU, and various other technology news on this channel. Uh, so I hope you uh, like the channel and stay and you know be updated on uh, just technology. Okay, so back uh, to this analysis. He based this uh, recommendation on the fact that AMD uh, can't compete with uh, Coffee Lake's performance. Okay, before I do a rebuttal on uh, his analysis, let's understand what the, this guy's job is. So he works for institutional investors. These are the guys that hold large shares of stock in companies on Wall Street. Citibank is a mega bank that buys, sells, and hold large positions in stock. And as such, he basically have a license to do what's called a pump and dump. Uh, pump and dump, if you guys don't know, is when a stock is hyped to attract buyers, hence the pump. Those that hold these stocks would then sell it to unsuspecting buyers, hence the dump. It's these newbie buyers that you know thought they could get rich quick would be left holding these junk stock and lose money in the end. Mostly pump and dumps are done uh, with the pink slip stocks or penny stocks. Uh, those are the you know where the stocks are less than a few bucks or maybe pennies or you know we're talking about you know chump change stocks where people buy uh, hundreds and hundreds of them expecting them to jump up into like ten dollars twenty dollars hundred dollars overnight but normally those are just uh, get rich you know ideas that never you know come to life and so pump and dump happens uh, there a lot now also pump and dump does happen with uh, big banks, but you know, it's done so that you know they are shielded, right? So you know, if you if anyone does this besides a, a analyst that works for a big bank, it would be illegal. But because this analyst works for a large financial institution, he's immune to it and it's legal. So it's kind of unfair for me to label this analyst as a pump and dumper. But let's understand something though. He is advising people to sell AMD stock so that the stock price can crash and when it's low enough it may be more attractive to buy he you know he doesn't really says that outright that would maybe be you know illegal but i think it's hinted and it's implied now as bad as amd might be financially they have a ton of valuable assets like gpu and cpu ip you know intellectual properties that worth billions to anyone right not to mention that they have Ryzen Gen 2 in the works and you know if they can figure out this heat issue maybe Threadripper 32 core now all I'm saying is that AMD stock would rebound if the stock price did crash you know to five dollars or less this is in a way pumping up but in reverse okay so on to rebutting his points um, honestly I don't think this guy took in all the data points into accounts when he made this analysis he just based it on the fact that it's Intel, which you know have a major distribution channel with the OEMs and uh, retailers, and that is Coffee Lake. Coffee Lake has a performance lead on some Ryzen CPUs. Now, to be fair to the Citibank analysts, Coffee Lake does have a performance lead, but most of that lead is in single core and gaming performance, where four cores are important. Anything above that is not important to games. So when you take into account like workstation performance ryzen is just as good and sometimes better if anyone is serious about content creation they would be looking at either a ryzen 1700 1700 x 1800 x and if you are really really looking for uh, performance in content creation amd threadripper is your uh, product that you should be looking at i know some are looking at core i9s but again if you're really are 
content creator with uh, you know with value in mind you're looking at Threadripper for the value and the performance another thing that I don't think he took into account is that coffee lakes availability so right now most places are out of stock of it or they never had shipping of the uh, coffee lake CPU last I checked on new egg which was just a few minutes ago as I did this video you know the 8700k is out of stock so it begs the question was this a real launch or a faux launch to steal sales from AMD you know Intel can play dirty like that so it's not uh, with you know outside the realm of possibilities so you know Intel <laughs> is known to do something dirty think back of the monopoly days and another thing that maybe he didn't take into account is that a good portion of people have already upgraded to KB Lake like the i7 7700k I have a feeling that only a small fraction of the ultra enthusiasts will upgrade to Cuff Lake just to take advantage of that minor gain in performance now in doing so they would have to buy a whole new motherboard just to take advantage of that new CPU now in keeping with that same uh, train of thought that the same idea recently there was a story that you know basically said that the new iPhone 8 sales are slumping it's gotten so bad that Apple has basically cut the orders in half to its suppliers now you know iPhone 8 is not a huge leap um, you know in in performance or in technology you know so people are buying iPhone 7s because it's a hundred dollars cheaper or staying with their iPhone 6 because it gets the job done again you know iPhone 8 is not a generational technology leap some are just waiting for the iPhone X but again those are the small percentage of the enthusiasts that will get it I think the same is true for Coffee Lake uh, you know Coffee Lake is fast but I think most have KB Lake the 7700k already so Coffee Lake isn't that much of a generational leap maybe there's two extra cores but you know most people that have KB Lake are satisfied with what is what they're doing now which is gaming right and if you're a content creator you're not looking at KB Lake or Coffee Lake you're looking at something that is more cores and offers uh, more uh, bells and whistles like you know PCIe lanes or something like that now I may be missing some other points here so please let me know in the comments below so this is one guy's recommendation over at seekingalpha.com so they are another financial uh, analysis website they're, they're saying that AMD is doing something right praising AMD in fact and so you know analysis versus analysis so you will have someone that will you know basically recommend a sell while another one praises another company the same company in fact so it's all about um, opinions and so I think these institutional investors are sometimes biased or make recommendations to make the headlines on uh, you know sites or TV stations like CNBC I don't want to get too into the weeds with this but these mega banks make money by you selling and buying stocks they earn commissions on the buying and selling of these stocks and so they make a lot of money and also they make billions in revenues using other various financial tricks so keep that in mind when you uh, read stories where they're recommending a buy or a sell you know again I don't want to get too much into the weeds but that is the reality of all this stuff now I don't own any AMD stocks I also uh, don't want you to take my opinion as any recommendation to buy or sell you're on your own there if uh, you doing something like that anyways what do you guys think uh, I would love to know your thoughts you know is this analysis or is this analyst correct um, do you see AMD stock dropping all the way down to uh, five dollars a share it's a huge drop if you ask me uh, please let me know in the comments below uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content I'll talk to you guys later bye bye